this is our fourth year doing this, and we do it for the community. We want everybody to get together in Mount Airy and have a good time with friends, family, neighbors. So this is what we've come up with, and I think it's going well. Many, many years, we've had to go to Westminster, go to Frederick, go to Columbia. Now we're gonna keep it all here in Mount Airy, and the three of us have kind of made it happen, and it's, it's, fun. it's worked, it's fun, it is. It's a lot of fun. Why are we going to Frederick? Why are we going to Westminster? Why are we going to Columbia? Why not have it here in Mount Airy? There's no Independence Day celebration. So that's how we started it four years ago. Simple, we have, we have kids and we want to start a, uh, a community event where our kids could be proud of. And that's how it started. So the first year, we talked about it, wanted to make it happen, didn't think it could happen. But it happened that year and we were only allowed to do it on the third because all the fireworks companies were booked. So now we do it on the third every year and we love it. I think everybody here in town loves it. Most people have off on the fourth. So we're gonna keep it on the third every year and just keep enjoying it. Yeah, we, we meet all year long and we do, we coordinate with a lot of different people. We do have to coordinate with the fire department, um, but it really just involves us communicating with the other businesses that help put it on. Um, it, it does take organization, <laughs> Which a lot of it. Which you're very good at. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> in the beginning, we met every month, you know, to do it all throughout the year. Now we've gotten it down to a little bit of a better science and we can meet kind of virtually and every couple months, but yeah. Year one, I mean, we came back the, the morning after to, to clean up. And I mean, I literally was like almost brought to tears by how little of a mess there was because this is such a community that, I mean, everyone just, they cleaned up all their little tailgating tent stations and whatnot and whatever they brought their stuff in, the bags, they used that to put all their trash in. And they put it all in every single trash can, whether they were, yeah, whether the trash can was full or not, it was there in that vicinity right there next to that trash can. We did not have to comb the fields looking for trash and garbage. This community really takes pride in its community and that showed so well that day. Yep. And, it, and that has happened year after year. We don't have fights here. We have security, but I mean, we've never had to need it like for yep. anything serious at all. Yep. Um, it just, it's, it's an amazing, amazing town and amazing group of people that live here. I just had a conversation with a security guy 15 minutes ago. I said, how are things going? Anything I should know about? He goes, nope, again, Mount Airy is impressing us because not one incident, one person they're looking after us. We, yeah. we do really well policing, our, policing ourselves, you know. It's, it's amazing. This community is amazing. I think estimated was 2,500 2, the first year and then three or three to three to four to the thousand a second year. Last year we heard five grand, but I don't know, yeah. 5,000 people. And, that, and that's, that's just here. Yeah. This happens, I mean, every park, every neighborhood, the streets, the, the streets on 27, they're everywhere. So it's 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 outside of this venue also. The food bank, um, their shelves go empty over the summer quite often. It's not uncommon to to donate during the holiday season when you're thinking about it, but the, you don't realize that during the summer those shelves can go bare. So um, basically, we just make it an option. It's not a requirement at all because we get so much of the community here, but it's an option if people want to bring a non-perishable food item, they can, and it's right at the front gate. And it, we, because we have so many people and so many community-minded people, those shelves are stocked extremely well through this event. Mount Airy Net, it's the net right here. It's the local Mount Airy Food Bank, and it feeds the communities, the, com the families in this community. Yeah, July. have a <laughs> have a safe and happy <laughs> Fourth of July. But enjoy the third, because we'll do it every year. Every year.